Terry Gigi here. I'm still in Florida, so I thought I'd do a video today back on my series, The Best is Yet to Come. By the time I upload this, I'm probably back home in Texas, but I'm just getting a few videos done today because I have some free time. Um, I've done a videos on health and husband and creativity, and today I wanted to talk about home. Home is um, part of a huge part of your life and when we're talking about the best is yet to come our home is a big part of that um, what do you want your home to look like how do you want it to operate now that you're older and you don't have so many responsibilities with children let's talk about our home how do we want to do it I can't tell you how much I love having a home where it's basically Scott and I and I'm not picking up after other people it's just the greatest thing that I've ever seen. It's wonderful. We have always been neat, neat people, but we had three other people living in our house for years, uh, i.e. the children, that just never caught on to it. And as much as I tried and I punished, it just got exhausting and I just let it go. Their rooms were atrocious and they were a mess and I refused to clean them anymore. And that's just how it was. Well, now our bedroom is perfect. My bed's made every morning. Uh, my bathroom is everything is spotless and clean 99% of the time and I love that it's so peaceful it's just so lovely I, I just can't say enough about it so maybe your home is not like that and you don't really see the value I dare you clean it up organize it clean off the counters get 50% um, of your Chotskis put away and you're just gonna feel so serene. I mean, the Japanese, that's my goal. I would love to have a Japanese house where there's not a single tchotchke sitting around. It's just wood and pillows on the floor. No, I really don't want to go that far. But I love that aesthetic. Some people want to be surrounded by their things that they love. Whatever you want to do, forget what I said. Whatever you want to do, look around your house, though, and say, is this how I want it? Is this making me happy? Is this what I want? Get it like you want it. Take one of those kids' bedrooms and make it your own room for whatever you want. I mean, there's so many videos online about that. And I have a room in my own my new home. I've talked about it a million times, y'all, but I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, that's going to be my office, but I'm not going to call it an office. But I can't wait to get that room just like I like it, just like I want it. It's kind of my room. You know how a man can have a den or an office this is going to be my room. Scott could care less. He says, take the room. I don't care as long as I have the couch and the TV and the clicker. I'm happy. He's very, and food. He's easy um, to please. Another thing that can make um, your home life happier is just keep up with everything. You know, sometimes you can get kind of lazy when you don't have the constantness of getting people up, taking them to school, helping with their homework. You know, you can just kind of sit around all day. I really think that can happen. You can either be caught up just doing things online or you can be caught up watching TV or even just reading. I mean, it's time to enjoy yourself and take a step back from all the responsibilities you used to have. If This is if you don't work. But even if you work, this applies. Just keep up a little bit every single day. Don't wait till, you know, Saturday to clean the house. Just clean it every night, keep it picked up, and then when you have to clean it like vacuum and dust, it's so much easier if you don't have to start spending an hour putting everything away where it belongs or getting the giant stack of mail away. Speaking of mail, this is part of your home, so I must, I must share. I must share what I've started doing. My husband gets the mail because we have a mailbox with a bunch of other people at the townhome, right? So when he pulls in, he stops and gets the mail. I can't stand the mail. It makes me nervous. I don't like it. I always feel like there's bad news in the mail. But what I've set up is in my laundry room, you know, he pulls in the garage, he comes in the laundry room door, and I have a large laundry room in the townhome. There's two giant large drawers in there with a big granite countertop and everything. It's really nice. And then the washer, the dryer, and the refrigerator. So what he does now is he comes in, he stops right there, one foot in front of my door, the, the back door. He stops. He opens the mail. He opens the giant drawer. He takes all the junk out of the mail, if it's electric bill, say, and he takes it, and I have a folder sitting in that drawer, and he sticks it in that folder and closes it. Then he throws everything 
else away, you know, except things you need. If it's something for him to deal with, he takes it back and he'll deal with it at work tomorrow. If it's something for me to deal with, he puts it in my little folder. So when he walks in the house, he doesn't have this big stack of mail and he's gone, oh, well, what happened to this? You know, no, I don't want to start my evening like that. And once a week, I go get my folder and I flip through it and I say, now, of course, we discuss if it's something important. You know, you didn't pay the water bill, which happened the other day, by the way, because I was paying it to the, no, it was when we first moved in, I was paying it to the wrong address. Ah! And you know, when you don't pay your water bill, they don't like that. <laughs> and I had never done that in my life. And so, of course, we discussed that. But what I'm saying is so much clutter never comes past the laundry room anymore. It's wonderful. I love it. So that's just a little tip there if you want to, you know, people say open the mail over the trash can. I totally agree. Couldn't agree more. But don't open it, put it aside. Open it, stack it on yesterday's mail. Open it, stack it on last week's mail. No, none of that. Get rid of all that. Maybe you want to redecorate. Maybe, you know, you've had your house, you kind of decorated your house years and years and years ago. Maybe you just need to redecorate and have a new spark in your life. The best is yet to come, and let's make our home look more like just adults live here, okay? This is something that I got. You know, it's so silly, y'all, but I love it. Okay, I always thought, and I think I've shared this with y'all, but when I was a kid, you know, TV was our life. You know, we played outside, but TV also was our life. We had two lives, three, outside school and TV. And we were serious about our TV back then because you could sit and watch TV for hours. Your mom and dad never cared. They didn't know that you weren't supposed to watch TV for hours. And really, it never hurt anybody. Well, there was Bewitched. Loved. Who didn't love that show? I mean, oh, Samantha was so cute and everything. And cute show. I loved it. Well, I remember in that show, Mr. Tate, the boss, was always coming over. And Samantha would always say, Larry, can I get you a drink? you know, can I get you a drink? And they had this little place to go get the drinks. And they were always mixing drinks on Bewitched. If you go back. And I just always thought that that's how American families were. Well, my parents never mixed drinks. They just didn't drink like that. They might have a glass of wine once in a while, but it wasn't like that, you know. But I, for some reason, found that so cool. And, you know, I guess it was part of it was the way they were dressed. And, of course, you know, Darren was always in a suit. I mean, my dad didn't wear a suit in the house, and that would have been crazy if he did. But something about that aesthetic appealed to me. Not the alcohol part of it. But just the, what's the word I want to use? The practice of it or the, the novel. I don't know what I'm trying to say. There's a, there's a really good word and I don't know what it is. But anyway, I always thought that was cool. Well, then I grow up, you know, I, we don't mix drinks at our house either. But then I watched Mad Men. I only watched one season, but I watched Mad Men. OMG. They drank all the time. Now, that was really over the top and ridiculous. But it reminded me of Bewitched. And I said to Scott, I want to be more like Mad Men. Not the drinking, but just the, I don't know, I just like that look of the 60s, you know. I don't want to decorate like that. I'm, here's what I'm trying to say. Last, a couple of months ago, I ordered a bar cart off Wayfair.com. This glass and chrome, kind of chrome, bar cart. And there's this perfect spot for it in my next to my refrigerator in my kitchen. Perfect spot. I might have shown y'all online. I might have shown y'all after Christmas. And my mom got us some bar uh, glasses and a little glass ice bucket and things like that. So it just looks cool. But then after I did it and got it all situated, we don't mix drinks. So it's kind of silly, but I just love it. I don't care. I don't care that we don't mix drinks around our house. I love it. And we do have a drink decanter. And we did get one bottle of Jack Daniels because that's what my husband drank in college. He has still not had a drink of that Jack Daniels and he got it at Christmas. But it's there, you know. And I don't know. It's just that cool memory for me of just, I just like it. I don't know. It reminds me of the 60s. I don't know. So that's something that I did that I would have never done when I had kids in the house just because I wouldn't want them to think that we're like alcoholics or something. The other thing we did, we got a wine fridge. Now we do drink wine. So we got a wine fridge and that's on the other side of the kitchen. And it's just things that we would have never spent the money on or anything like that. Back to the bar cart. I've already decided I'm going to redecorate and repurpose the bar cart. I'm still going to have a couple of glasses on the bottom, the crystal, it looks really pretty. But now I'm, I've got a candle and I keep that glass ice bucket there because it's really cute. And you know, my 
courtyard friends come over. So sometime when they come over, I'm going to have it all set up, you know, but they all drink wine too. So I don't know. But anyway, it's just something fun that I would have never done before. So think of something that you might want to have had always done in your house and just do it. Just find something fun that you kind of think that maybe back from childhood that you've always wanted to have in your home. And it just brings life just is more fun. It's just more fun like that. I don't know. Okay. The lighting in your house, make it beautiful. We have dimmers on everything and timers. I've told this before, but I love dimmers and I love timers. My Eiffel Tower light in the corner of the kitchen stays on 24-7. I never turn it off. It's just a little, it's it's big, but it's like a night light. I have a really tall, cool, um, fringy lamp on my bar cart. It's on a timer. It comes on at 4 in the afternoon and it clicks off at 10 at night. So timers are wonderful. And that way, the evening, all this, oh, I know what else I have. Oh my gosh. Ah, I have those automatic candles that turn on and off every day for four hours. Every single night at sundown, you know, they just pop on. I have like four of them in the family room. They just pop on. And it's just like, it's evening now, you know, and it just sets a tone. I can't tell you. You can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond. They're four hours. And what you do is you take them and you've all seen them. They're the fakes. You turn it on the first time at the time you want it to turn on, you know, so in the summer, they didn't turn on till late because it didn't get dark till late. So I had to turn them back off in the winter. And then I went all around the house and got them all together so that they would be quick, close together in the timing. And I turned them all on at 530. Click, 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 click. So they stay on until 930. And they go on and off every single day. And it just, without that, I would forget. I do light a candle in the kitchen because it's all one room. I do light a candle every day, but um, I just love that. I love that. I love lighting. I love dimmers. I love automatic lighting. I love timers. I'm all into that. Oh, and I'm also into clickers, okay? My fountain on my front porch, I had it on a timer where it was coming on two hours in the morning and two hours at night. It was a double timer. Really cool. Got it at Home Depot. But then when I started traveling so much, I was afraid it was going to run out of uh, water because I take care of everything in the house. You know, Scott doesn't even know that fountain comes on and off. Well, I was cleaning out my car and there was this timer with a remote. I don't know when I bought it. It'd been in there for months and months and months. I took that. Now I use that. So I just click the timer on. I just click on the fountain from in the house and you can hear it. You know, it's so great. So that way I don't have to worry when I'm traveling for a month that it's coming on and the water has evaporated all the way out. You know what I mean? I think that's it. Oh, smells. The way your house smells can be very relaxing. And I always go with the seasons. Um, you know, in my cabinet, in my laundry room, I have um, candles for summer. I have a spring candle, which is like fresh cut grass. I have summer candles, which is like beach and stuff. Um, in the winter, I'm always doing the pumpkin. You know, I just go with the season and it's just nice. It's just uh, the rhythm, the rhythm of the earth. You know, you can kind of have in your house too. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I've talked too long. So that's it for this video. I only have one more to go. I don't know if I've uploaded these in order, so don't quote me. But in the bottom bar below, I will um, be linking these as I upload them. And you can go watch the intro and everything to the best is yet to come. But uh, yeah, I've only got one more to go. So I think I'll do it as soon as I turn this one off. I'll leave a comment if you there's something new you've done in your home or something that you think really makes your home cool and um, enhances your life or your lifestyle. I'd love to hear it because I want to learn, learn, learn and know what other people are doing too because, you know, you never know. I might want to incorporate it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I don't say that enough. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.